Season 5, Episode 13, Your Mother and Mine. So continuing this uh, Lars arc. Yeah. Oh. Who wants a party sub? What exactly are we celebrating? You guys mean Emerald, and you rescued me and Connie from the jungle moon. True. And you have this super fat ship, so you'll be back on Earth in no time. Oh. Uh, Captain Lawrence, Were they damaged? The thrusters. We're going to lose power. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Pickles. I mean, they don't have to be. Come I'm sorry. On, bring him over. God, that must be so uncomfortable. Twins. Uh, I'm sorry. Who is that? Steven. There's more of you. <gasps> oh, it's Garnet. He's going to bring back another Steven. <laughs> Garnet would like them the most. That makes a lot of sense. I want all the details. <laughs> We're completely inappropriate, and so are you. We should all be ashamed. By your societal standards, by their societal standards, they should be ashamed. But you know, we're breaking out of those societal standards, so you shouldn't. To be honest, not in this situation, anyways. <laughs> an organic beast that burst out of Earth's crust and vowed to destroy all That is them. not what oh, happened. No. She was made from a vein of hyper defective quartz. A malformed quartz gone haywire. Dude. Oh. Wait, I really like this. There's like so many different rumors of what she is and what she was. I guess that makes a lot of sense. If she's like probably Homeworld's most wanted fugitive, right? I would say so. That's crazy. Isn't real. You have it all wrong. Rose Quartz. Yep. Let me tell you the story of the real Rose Quartz. Please, I would love to hear this. Mm-hmm. On Earth, every gem was made to serve Pink Diamond, each with a role to play in her world's perfect empire. Cool. I like this visual representation. However, she began to take notice of her strange colony and the life that existed there. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Curiosity turned to appreciation. Appreciation turned to fondness. And fondness... Oh, like ancient humans at school. Cavemen. Soon she was unable to keep her findings secret, and she began asking her fellow gems if they knew of the life on Earth and what they made of it. She it's interesting they showed that kissing scene. It's almost like, um, you know, because they've been here for thousands of years, right? She's probably gone through quite a few people she's cared about over the years before finally settling with Greg. But yeah, I guess I didn't really think about that, yeah. Because it'd be here for so long, it makes sense that she would make connections with people over generations and generations. So, interesting. Continue to pry her fellow kindergartners with questions so odd that word of her eventually made its way to Pink Diamond. Rose Quartz was summoned at once. Quartz began Pink Diamond. What have you been saying down there? My diamond, Rose pleaded, it has come to my attention that your colony, Earth, bears life. When I know these organic life forms serve no purpose, I ask that we leave this planet and spare their lives. She had no choice. She had to fight. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, she put on her iconic dress. Is this what you want? 
to inject, to build. I've seen a life that exists for itself, and it lives here. I love this art style so much. Like how simplistic it is. Like it's not actually showing her herself. Like they blacked her out. I don't know, it's interesting. Will you destroy it? Or will you join it? Rose's message began to resonate to Pink Diamond's dismay. Her Ooh. body was falling apart. So like a coward, she called for her diamond allies, the yellow and blue, to help. Where's white? Where's the white one? I <laughs> I want to know about White Diamond, dude. Cast out for being wrong. A pearl who belonged to no one. A bismuth who built weapons for rebels instead of towers for tyrants. Mm -hmm. An entirely new fusion. For not for power, but for love. Yep. And countless others, all inspired by Rose to live for us on Earth. She was our leader. And Earth was our precious home. And those who fought to save it became known as the Crystal Gem. Unbelievable. Saving the earth for all time. Her reign of terror. Wow, oh, that's incredible. Believe it. Your mom did all that? That's awesome. Wait, what about the rest? What happened? But it's, hold on, because remember, weren't we talking about um when Steven was on Homeworld that, you know, during the, his trial that it was suggested, not proven obviously, that Yellow Diamond may have been the one plotting to kill Pink, Pink Diamond, right? Because right now it's believed that Rose killed Pink Diamond with her sword, right? Shattered her. But we can't confirm that. We still don't know if that's technically true. So, to me, it's still ambiguous how Pink Diamond died. There's white diamonds, see, finally. But it didn't work? I predict this story won't have a happy ending. You were all told different stories. They all ended the same way. With Rose Quartz being defeated. I was only on Homeworld for like an hour before I ran into you guys. True. Yeah, Steven probably has a lot to process after hearing all that. I do like that we finally, finally got a coherent point A to point B storyline of what happened. You know, we've been getting slices and different bits here and there all the time, but just having it laid out simply like that, simply explained by Garnet, is actually really helpful. I actually really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Pink diamond. Pink and yellow. Blue diamond came to Earth. I had dreams where I saw through her eyes, and I was crying her tears. If I'm having the same dreams about Pink Diamond, what if that means she's still out there? I predict that Captain Lars will be pressing the wrong button. Oh. Well, there you go. See, she is helpful sometimes. Well, there you go. Will be crawling with agates, Captain. It's incredibly dangerous. That's why you pull off a heist. Let's go. Oh, we're going to have a heist next episode? Heck yeah, man. Let's go. This was good. I like that Garnet got to meet all of them. Garnet seems like she would be, out of all the crystal gems, the one most excited to meet these off-color gems. 
and it seems to have been proven true considering you know she's very unique herself but forget all of that forget everything that happened there this whole story time flashback that's the takeaway for me finally got a coherent story of rose you know how she was created and how her rebellion started her way of thinking very simplistically of course and it was way down a very simple manner in this episode but it was still very helpful i would say um but yeah now you know, like I said earlier, I, I remember, you know, in the trial episode that it was suggested that maybe Yellow Diamond had something to do with Pink Diamond's death and they were trying to cover it up and blame it on Rose. But then, you know, Garnet here is like reaffirming that Rose is the one that killed her. But does she know that exactly? I don't know. If it's not a spoiler, I guess you can tell me who actually killed Pink Diamond. But if it's supposed to be ambiguous right now and we'll eventually find out, then obviously don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah the it, this flashback was very helpful and i love the art style that they do in flashbacks like this they like simplify every design and actually i really like it like the silhouettes almost it's really cool i i just really like how they do that um but yeah it's like we're starting a new rebellion like we're adding to the crystal gems it seems like we're almost building up to a new war you know because the crystal gems were formed as a rebellion and there was a whole war and the war ended kind kind of it's more like been put on hold to be honest you know the crystal gems were reduced to like four or five members but it seems like we're building an army again to i'm assuming have another war and maybe defeat all the diamonds i'm not sure speaking of all the diamonds though white diamond we aren't getting anything on her we saw her a little bit in this when garner was talking about how they rebelled and stuff and like it showed her in the sky like right here um so i know what her silhouette looks like she has like that spiky hair it looks like and shoulder pads and stuff and we saw her hand but like that's it i want to see her well, first of all what she looks like and second of all what she is like you know what's her character like i'm very intrigued because very ambiguous i i don't know anything about white diamond so i, I really want to know uh what's up with her but yeah, apart from that, this was a very solid episode. Finally, we got some deep lore. It was really good, really interesting lore. And it's leaving me excited to see where this is going to build up to. I'm very intrigued. And hopefully soon we'll see White Diamond. I mean, we have to meet her before the show ends, which is this season. So, yeah. I I can feel things ramping up and I'm getting excited. So, we'll see. But uh, yeah, anyways... Uh, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next episode.